We are here to look into the 14th question where a ball is projected from point A with velocity 10 and it is perpendicular to inclined plane and we are asked to find range of the incline. Range on the incline. So, firstly we should mark x-axis and y-axis. So, this is x-axis, this is y-axis. After this, we know that this is going up at 10 meter per second. So, there is actually no need to do components here. But, I have introduced this video to help you understand when to take sin theta and cos theta and what are reasons to take it. So, uh, firstly, let me explain you. I will take a triangle. Uh, this be theta angle. I will draw it some bigger. So this is theta angle. Okay. Now what is what is this side? This is opposite side and this is 90 degree. Okay. There must be one side 90 degree. Then only we can apply sine, cos, tan and other. So this is opposite. This is adjacent and this is hypotenuse. The side opposite to 90 degree is always hypotenuse. So, if we look at theta, then sine theta would be opposite upon hypotenuse. So, I will mark it as A, B, C. Sine theta is A, B upon A, C. So, what would be A, B? A, B is A, C sine theta. Similarly, if you look into cos theta, then cos theta is adjacent upon hypotenuse. So, BC upon AC. BC upon AC. So, what would be BC? BC is AC cos theta. So, you can write here BC means this base as AC cos theta. And similarly, AB can be written as AC sin theta. So, now you must have got the idea why we take components in that way so actually here there is no need to do components because this is 90 degree and if we then do if we put here 10 cos 90 degree 10 cos 90 degree so we know cos 90 is 0 so this one would be 0 and here upside 10 sin 90 is just 10 so it's going just with 10 and there is no horizontal component driving the velocity it's only in vertical direction when we are seeing with respect to the inclined plane. Now, next to this, we must find the components of gravity. So, we know that gravitational force is acting this way, downsides. Now, you might, the most confusing for all of you is how to do components of gravity. So, firstly, draw a line that is perpendicular to this line. So, a line that is perpendicular to this line would be this. And a line which is perpendicular to this is already the gravitational line. So, this and this would be the angle same as 30 degree. Now, you must have doubt why. So, let me explain you. Mm. Okay. We have a triangle. Okay. This is 30 degree. Now, look very attentively. We draw a perpendicular to this line. Okay. So, I will draw it. Okay. So, this line is perpendicular. Okay. Now, 
देर इज अनदर परपेंडिकुलर दैट इज टू दिस लाइन ओके एंड वी सेट दैट दिस एंगल वुड बी थीटा नाउ इफ यू लुक केयरफुली देन यू माइट गेट टू नो वाई दिस इज थर्टी डिग्री सो एक्चुअली हियर दिस इज नाइंटी डिग्री ट्रैंगल दिस इज परपेंडिकुलर टू दिस लाइन सो दिस इज नाइंटी डिग्री सो वॉट वुड बी दिस यू नो दिस इज सिक्सटी डिग्री सम ऑफ ऑल साइड्स ऑफ ट्रैंगल इज वन एटी डिग्री सो नाइंटी प्लस थर्टी प्लस सिक्सटी इज वन एटी नाउ here it's vertically opposite so this one would be 60 degree now this and this both make 90 degree angle so this must be 30 degree are you getting it this both this and this line these two lines are perpendicular to each other so if we draw perpendiculars on both of them and intersect both of them then of course they their both intersection two would be perpendicular suppose you have a square okay so these two are perpendicular if you draw perpendiculars of both of this so the perpendicular to this one is this and perpendicular to this one is this so finally you would have here 90 degree means intersection of both these two dotted perpendiculars is 90 degree so that's what we do here that's why we say that this is 30 degree so now we can do the components of gravity so i have explained you how to take sin theta and cos theta in the required conditions so i will see that the gravity is driving it downward by component g sin 30 degree here it's theta theta is 30 degree so g sin 30 degree and it's taking it upside with g cos 30 degree okay actually this g is negative because it is doing the work of pulling it downside not upside so it is pulling it downside and this is pulling it towards right side means it positive we have considered this is x axis and this is y axis so this is positive and this is negative so at the next point now we should be able to use the formula so here if you see carefully we are asked to find range and what is range range is the distance covered in x so it is the distance or displacement between a to the point where it strike the plane so it up to here now firstly to remove this we need two statements firstly we need to find time from the equation of displacement in y so here displacement in y is zero because we are seeing graph in this way and it had came back to same position after fine interval of time so we know that this is zero means displacement in y is zero equal u y t plus half a y t square so i will take t as common and i will put it below zero so zero upon t would be zero so we are left with u y plus half a y t so what is u y here u y means velocity in y and it's going up with 10 so this is 10 plus half into a y t uh, what is a y acceleration in y is negative it is taking it downside so i will write it as into minus g into what is cos 30 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 into time so uh, i will shift this minus 10 on this side so minus 10 equals minus g by 4 into root 3t okay so doing cross multiplication we know that g minus g is here g is 10 g is 10 so 
minus 10 upon minus 10 would be 1 so this would cancel and we are left with 4 by root 3 equal time so 4 by root 3 seconds is the time now let me mark it as first equation now next to this we should find the displacement in x that is range range is displacement in x so we know that it is uxt plus half axt square so what is ux now here if we see in the graph the speed on x axis is 0 so this is 0 plus half into ax so acceleration in x is g sine 30 so and here g is positive because it's taking on right side so uh, 10 sine 30 is half so 10 into half into t square so we know what is t square from here t square is 4 by root 3 so this is 1 uh, okay 10 by 4 into 4 by root 3 square so we have 5 by 2 into 16 by 3 and that would be 40 by 3 meters so range is 40 by 3 meter now let's see in the options if we are right yeah we are right it's 40 by 3 meter so correct answer would be 40 by 3 meter